That's just me doing my warm up to get ready for a video because you gotta get hype. Hey siblings, welcome back to my channel. Today I am like, I have not done a video like this in forever. I feel like this background is really awkward. Let me know what you think. I can switch it up. Today we are starting my back to school videos every Tuesday from now, pretty much until school starts or like the end of August. I'm gonna do some back to school videos. So today I'm gonna be showing you 10 back to school easy hairstyles because let me tell you, if you are like me, I wake up five minutes before I have to leave my house and you know, I know I'm gonna be late and I just gotta do my hair real quick because most of the time it looks like this, like it's all poofy and just like not a good time. I have very thick hair, it's pretty long, so I know that it won't look the same on most people's hair because I do have really thick hair. It'll still be really cute and these hairstyles are really easy. So let's go ahead and get started with some easy ones. Now we all know we could just throw our hair in a ponytail or something, but my first go-to is actually half up, half down. There are a couple different ways that I do this. I part it in the middle sometimes, but most of the time I just part it where my part is and then I go ahead and pull it back. However much you want to pull back is totally up to you. And literally all you need is a hair tie and you just tie it back. I like all of my hairstyles to be super loose. So I will go ahead and pull out all of like the hair to frame my face and then just loosen it up. And you could stop here or in the back, mix it up a little bit. There are two different things, well, like three different things I like to do. I like to just leave it how it is right now. Or I like to put it in a bun, so you just take your hair tie and do it once or twice and then put it into a little bun. Or I like to put it in a braid, so you just pull it back and braid it down. Super easy, super cute. Make him the cutest that I've ever seen bum, 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 bum. Give him tulips like roses and clover bum, bum, bum. A tip throughout this whole video, if you want to make your braid thicker, just pull it out. It's called pancaking. It makes them thick and really like boho loose looking. My hair's actually still a little bit wet. I probably should wait for it to dry a little bit more. Okay, it's like drier, so. Second hairstyle is a messy bun. I always use a scrunchie when I'm doing ponytails, messy buns. I feel like it just holds my hair in so much better and it's so much easier to take out than a hair tie because my hair gets stuck and wrapped around my hair tie and then I just end up ripping it all out and that really hurts, so scrunchies are life. Literally, I got my Velva scrunchies. I have like 10 of them on Amazon in a pack for like $3. You could also get them on Dope for really cheap from different stores. Use my code SIVM if you buy stuff on Dote. It'll give you money off and stuff, but let's keep going to put my hair in a messy bun i usually flop it down basically i just wrap the hair tie around and then pull it through but not all the way and then i take the top hair and just bunch it up into like a messy bun and then throw it around and i literally just wear it how it looks you just got to be confident in it then i pull out my wispies to make it more loose and more like a boho type of look and then i just pull my hair to make it super loose and this is what it looks like I was trying to cut out my whiteboard above me, but you guys can't see my hair if I do that, so I'm sorry. This next one, you can either use bobby pins or little hair ties. By the way, you can buy these at like Walmart, Target, Walgreens, CVS. They're like little containers that bobby pins come in. This is great for putting them in your backpack and your purse. I just looked really awkward with my hair like that. I'm so sorry. Next hairstyle. Part your hair in the middle. And then you literally just take a little section of your hair. I'm going to use little hair ties because it's easier for me. You can use bobby pins if you want. Just make it a little ponytail. Do something just like this on the other side. So I always tighten them at first, but then I'm just going to go ahead and like loosen it to where it kind of just makes them into bumps, if that makes sense. Then I always pull out my hairs to frame my face so I don't look bald. And that's literally it. It kind of looks like a five-year-old. I kind of made them too close to my face. You can make them further back and they won't look as much like a five-year-old. But I think it's cute, simple. It gets out of my face and I like it. Making the cutest that I've ever 
This next one has two variations. We're gonna do half buns. So you can do space buns or you can just do a half bun and I'll show you how to do both. Most people have thinner hair than me so you can use little hair ties. For me, I like to use regular hair ties when doing space buns. But basically just part your hair in the middle and you're gonna kinda do the same concept we just did with the ponytails. I do my space buns exactly like how I did my bun. So I'm just gonna wrap the hair tie around to get it secure a few times. And then I'm going to put it in like halfway or whatever. I should have like a loop and then I kind of like twist up the loop and just make it into a ponytail. These take forever. I probably redo them about 300 times before they look good. But then they end up looking something like that and then you just gotta go with it and be like, wow, I love it and rock it and it's fine because it's messy. The thing about always doing messy hairstyles on purpose is that even when they look bad, they still look good. Getting them to look alike, I think is impossible. This is when the bobby pins come in handy. Then of course, just loosen it up, pull out some hairs and you're good to go. These are probably the messiest space buns I've ever done. In fact, this one I would definitely redo. But for the sake of the video, I'm just showing you guys how I do it and this one was pretty accurate. Even though there's like hair hanging down, it, it's an effect, okay? And the other part of this is just the one bun. So I'll usually take like this much hair and honestly sometimes I just wear it in a ponytail like this so, so I'm doing my bun exactly how I've done all my other buns just wrapping it around twice and then pulling it through and this is where you get creative and you make your bun a little poof in there and take out my hairs to frame my face there you have it, half up bun. Wow, this one's bad. See, in this case, I would just bobby pin it because redoing it is way too much work. We're halfway through the hairstyles. How are you guys feeling? Notice all these hairstyles take less than five minutes. I used to do this all the time. I haven't done it as much because I've had dreads all summer and this is kind of like a summery hairstyle for me. But you're just gonna part your hair in the middle. Basically, we're gonna do two braids and that's it. Now, I'm gonna teach you guys how to braid in this one hairstyle and then it'll apply to all the other ones. I always do Dutch braids instead of French because they pop out more, they make your hair look thicker. I just like it better, it's more boho. So to Dutch braid, you're gonna wanna take three pieces of hair, just like you're gonna do a normal braid. And then you're gonna take the middle piece and put it over the top piece. And then you're gonna wanna add hair to that. Then you take the middle piece and you put it over top the bottom piece and add hair to that. And then you just keep repeating. So the middle one goes over the top one and you add hair. Middle one goes over the bottom one and you add hair. Basically, the middle one just always goes on top of your next piece that you're gonna be braiding. For this specific hairstyle, you're not gonna wanna grab all of your hair. You're just gonna wanna do the top section. One way to do that is to only add hair to the top piece and not to the bottom piece because then it just does the half up braid. Once you feel like you've gone far enough back on your head that you want, you're just gonna go ahead and keep braiding down just as a loose, detached braid. To make your braid look thicker, you're gonna wanna do what's called pancaking it, where you just pull your braid apart until it's the thickness that you desire. It also makes it look more loose, and I just really like the way it looks, it's super pretty. Then of course, I always take out my hairs in my front, and then you're gonna repeat it to the other side. Another hairstyle I always do is just two Dutch braids, but another variation of that I actually did at church on Sunday and I loved it. It's basically two Dutch braids, but you just stop them and make them ponytails after you've like made it all Dutch. You're gonna wanna put all of the hair into the Dutch braids until this point. Once you get to this point, you're just gonna take your hair and literally put it in a ponytail, so it's a half braid, half ponytail. Then of course, you're gonna wanna loosen them so you're not bald because we don't wanna look like this, now do we? 
Pulling out your side hairs right here literally makes the biggest difference in not being bald. We love it loose. Yes, we do. Get that hair nice and loose. And if you want to spice it up, you could either straighten or curl these hairs right here. I'm just wearing my natural and poofy right now, but if you want to switch it up, that's up to you. That's pretty much all the hairstyles I have for you guys. If you have any other questions about how I do hairstyles or if I ever do a hairstyle and you want to know how I do it, just let me know and I can always throw it in a vlog or make a video about it or something. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I know it's annoying to remind you of back to school, but it's happening and I hate it, but it's my senior year. So <laughs> I'm gonna be out of here in December because I'm graduating early. I think I say that way too often. It's probably annoying, I'm sorry, but thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Peace.